Oh, Ruby, yay! Hi, Z. We got it so quick, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. How to do this. I know. I was like, this work? <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. How's it's overseas so going? You know, it's different because everything's closed, but it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm in Phoenix right now with Olaf. Um, turning. Okay, so How it's going fun. really well though. Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Said hi. He's, like, oh, <laughs> He's not here right now, but I was home once he comes back. Thank you. Okay. Um. So for those of you guys that don't know, I think most people know, but um, we're kicking off this um. What's the name of this called? Um. Sorry, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're just having a. about breaking barriers and like um wait sorry okay um it's called our voices so it's a series we're doing our team is doing for this the rest of this month um and each friday it will be two of us talking on here just having casual conversation about breaking barriers um our careers everything just natural conversation so me and ruthie are starting it off um and just before we start if anyone has questions please send them to us we're any questions you have we'll answer them about anything well yeah make sure they're appropriate but yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um okay so let's start it off with um yeah today's topic is breaking barriers so let's start it off oh and by the way this is um presented by BMO Harris Bank. Um, but okay, so let's start off with what's one way that you have broken barriers in your life? Well, for me, breaking barriers, I think, I was thinking about this earlier, it's just like small things that kind of build up to bigger things, I think. So like for me, maybe it was after graduating high school, moving from Alaska to Oregon, and just like mm -hmm. those little small steps in your life and in your career that like end up to be big things. So just moving from Alaska to Oregon was a big step for me, just because yeah, Alaska, sure. you, know, you know everybody in like yeah. a small place like that. And going to Oregon, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, there's so many different people yeah. and all that stuff. So that was something that was kind of like breaking the barrier, I think. Yeah, of course. Um, I feel you on that because um, I went from Duke to Yukon, and like that's kind of how it was for me. Like I pretty much, I mean, I grew up in North Carolina, so everything was really familiar for me. And I didn't know like literally anyone in, um, in U at UConn. I knew some of the girls on the team, but I didn't know anyone outside of the team really. Um, and I'd never really been to Connecticut like that. So going there was just like a whole shock, but like, it, I mean, I learned a lot from it and grew from those experiences, but yeah, actually on that, that's how it was for me too. Um, okay, this question, how do you feel about cancel culture? <laughs> I I think cancel culture is like really stupid honestly like I just think it's like okay we're all humans like nobody's perfect we all do stuff that we wish we could have done differently in certain situations so to cancel someone for it is really ridiculous because it's like you're making yourself feel like you're better than someone else or that something that they've done deserves them to be canceled and I'm like okay well none of us are perfect so I yeah. personally think cancel culture is not good. Yeah, I feel bad for like the like the big time celebrities who like one mistake and it's just posted everywhere. Like I'm sure someone who's trying to cancel them made the same mistake or something. Yeah, else. and it's worse because theirs is in the private <laughs> that no one can see it. Like, yeah, so, like just because someone big time or who's like verified or something could make a mistake, you can't judge <laughs> that when you probably made the same mistake or close to the mistake. Yeah, facts. I think cancel culture is really stupid. Um, yeah. Okay, we have one question. Oh, we have two questions. Um, let's start with this one. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, there we go. After Chicago, which WNBA team has the best jersey? Um, <laughs> Chicago's only what? I don't like anybody <laughs> else's jerseys. <laughs> I found her nothing. <laughs> um, okay, and we have another one. This one's for you. Oh, okay. good. What does Ruthie think about baklava? 
I love baklava. I'm in Turkey right now, so that's one of their main desserts, and we get it at practice all the time. So every time this someone brings baklava to practice, I'm like the first one over there running to it. It's great. It's great. Um. Okay, guys, ask more questions. Like we want to answer questions. Um. But I do have some other ones. Okay. Um. What are your coping me- this one's kind of deep, but what are your coping <laughs> mechanisms to get through hard days? Well, I'm a big family person, so talking to my, you know, mom and dad for sure help. And then um I like to write, I like to journal, so I like oh, really? write down yeah, I like to like write down things, you know. And I kind of just be by myself. I don't know if that's always healthy, but you know, I'm really <laughs> to myself <laughs> chill. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm I'm like that too. I really like um being by myself also. Um and I feel like COVID is like well, it kind of forced us in a way to be by ourselves because of like the first quarantine and stuff. Um which I personally had no problems with that. I was like, What? This is great, like no social interaction, I'm just, just do what I want, like I'm good. <laughs> but um but no, yeah. Um what are some of my coping mechanisms? Mm-hmm. I mean, I really like to listen to music, like music that makes me really chill or just like feel good. Um, So that's one thing. Um, Also, just, I don't know, kind of like you said, just retreating kind of to myself and being able to process like whatever I'm going through. Um, And then always talking to like good friends about it um, just to get it out or even therapy. Like I am really big on therapy. I think that it's everyone's decision if they want to go to therapy, but it's really nice for me to have someone um, that I can kind of just talk to about anything that's going on. And um, yeah, they don't really have like, I mean, my therapist has opinions, but she's not, not like, she's just like a space where I can just talk about whatever I want. And she doesn't always like force her opinion on me or make me make a decision. Um, but she kind of helps walk me through like, steps to get to a decision if I'm trying to figure out what to do in a situation um but yeah it's nice to just have a space where I can just go and know that like okay this person's just gonna listen to like everything I have to say yeah um, no and that's like anything like that yes yes and it's really hard to find that like outside it is. Of that. <laughs> um okay yes now we're getting some good questions okay um Good job, guys. These are great questions, and there's a lot. Keep sending them. <laughs> okay, this one. Let's do this one. How did you break? Oh, it's. I don't know how to read the whole thing. Click on it. Oh, don't click on it. Oh, shoot. How did you break the barrier of transitioning from Oregon, where you knew and comfortable with everyone, to Chicago, knowing that you are my little s? I don't know if it's like sister or something. Do you know this person? Audio, can you see the, yeah, my, I can't see it. I can only see like half of the question. Yeah. Well, if the question in the comments and maybe like we'll be able to see it better because I can't see it on that one. Okay. Um, ooh, this is a good one. What are you both looking forward to this upcoming season with the Chicago Sky? Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to be outside of the bubble, you know, and just be able yes. to. Team a little more like you know, and the bubble is kind of normally, like, yeah, just to be normal, like girls and get to explore Chicago for sure, but just like hang out with them and um, with you guys and just have fun, and of course, you know, ball out with you guys as well. Yes, facts. Um, I agree with that. I personally did not like the bubble <laughs> i mean i'm glad i was on chicago and like my we're like our team is like the coolest in the league so yeah um i did enjoy like the times that we got to spend together but i'm looking forward to like normal life in chicago and exploring the city um when we're not playing i mean obviously covid safe but um <laughs> But I'm looking forward to just all of us getting back together. Like, I genuinely miss you guys, like, a lot and seeing everyone every day. Like, I miss just going to practice um, and just, I don't know, just seeing you guys all the time and, like, us working out, um, practicing and and just preparing for games and stuff. Um, And I'm looking forward to us winning the championship this year. Yes. So (laughs) that's the main (laughs) thing I'm looking forward to. (laughs) Okay. 
let's see. Um, uh, this is a good one. Okay. Who did you guys look up to in the world of basketball in both the WNBA and NBA? Do you want me to start or do you want to start? Go ahead, start this one. Okay, yeah, because I have my answers already. <laughs> okay, so for I'll start with the NBA. And everyone who knows me knows that Kevin Durant is my favorite player. So I've always looked up to his game um, and just his versatility as an athlete is unmatched. Um, and I love the way that he plays. So I've always looked up to him. Um, and WNBA, I've always looked up to Candace. And now that we're teammates, I'm so pumped. Like, I can't wait for us to, like, start working together and just to learn from her um, on and off the court. Like, the stuff that she's done for our game has just been really awesome. And she's an amazing player. So I'm really excited to get on the court with her um, and just learn from her. Um, and soak up all that I can. You know? Yeah, uh, sorry, NBA fans. I don't really watch the NBA, but <laughs> NBA. I remember in middle school, sorry, Candace, but I remember going to the Sparks game <laughs> and watching Candace and playing in uh, Minnesota and watching like Zion Moore and Candace Parker. And then I remember seeing even Lisa Leslie was there on the sidelines, you know, not playing, but just seeing all the girls there and just seeing, even for me, just seeing like tall African American woman, I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm not like a, like, the only one. So just yeah, all those yeah. ladies in the WBA just, you know, making a way for me and you and all the other young girls. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up because I was just talking to someone about that yesterday and like how important it is to have like examples of people that look like us in the places that we want to be. Like, it's so powerful when you're younger and you can see somebody that looks exactly like you and is in yeah. a position that you eventually want to get to. Like, it just changes the game for you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, cool. Um, okay. Next question. Um, well, I feel like we kind of answered, how are you feeling with Candace on your team? Like, we're excited. <laughs> Oh, this one's funny. Okay, how do you like to hype each other up before a game? <laughs> well, team. yeah, we have our rap, <laughs> we have our rap routine that we do before the game, which is so fun and just like <laughs> <laughs> in the classroom. <laughs> because some people on our team are like they can rap, like they got bars, but then like some of us. <laughs> Wait, come here, come here, come say hi to Ruthie. Ruthie! <laughs> What's up? How are you? Are you smoking? Oh no, that's the screen. I thought you had the hookah. You have a hookah there? This is an Instagram wow. Uh, so. uh, is it? <laughs> Thank you, though. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You're rocking and rolling over there. Are you sick of it yet? <laughs> I'm on live. I know. I know how it is. I Hang in though. there. Good to see you. Good to see you. She's taking over my office. <laughs> Not smoking, though. Not smoking. <laughs> okay, we have a guest appearance. We're not fighting for that. But Okay, yes. In the classroom is, like, I love it so much because, <laughs> like, I love when, like, we're going and then, like, Q is just like she's like getting into it, and then she just comes with this bar out of nowhere, and I'm just, just like, gets you so high. Yeah, like I feel like you can do anything in that moment. Like, yeah, just <laughs> yeah. So that's how we have each other up. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Um. What's the hardest part about being in the WNBA? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's the best players, like, in the world playing, um, together, so that's, I mean, you have to, like, bring it literally all the time and practice workouts, games, um, like, you really can't take any moments, um, or games off, and also, I think, just in general, like, the traveling and stuff, and just being away from my families as much as we are, it's, it's a little similar to college in that regard, that, you're away from your family a lot. Um, but thankfully, the Chicago Sky team is like a family, so it's a home away from home. 
Yeah, I agree with that. I think the hardest part, I mean, just last year was going to practice every day and playing against some of the best girls in our role. It's just like every day, like, you have to bring it, you have to be. <laughs> of course, going to yell at you. <laughs> so you just have to be on your game every day. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is a good one. What's your biggest lesson you both learned in your rookie season? Well, let's see. Last year, I think it was just you know, you're going to make mistakes. Like, I'm going to make mistakes and get yelled at. But at the end of the day, I think it was good. It was like a learning, a stepping stone for me. So just knowing that, you know, when you get yelled at, you make mistakes, that means, you know, you have so much more potential and so much more room to grow. So just that and knowing that, you know, the, your team, you guys go hard and practice every day, but at the end of the day, they all want to see you get better. So, you know, Chicago and all my teammates are great at that. <laughs> um, biggest lesson learned in my rookie season um I mean I just would say like the in all aspects like everything was harder um everyone's quicker everyone's stronger um and I mean kind of like I said you just have to be like prepared in every moment like you really have to break it down from it's easy to get focused on like the big goals like the end of the year goals that you have for yourself or for the team but it's really about the process and like really falling in love with that in every way that you can. If you want to be, you know, a certain type of, if you want to be the best version of yourself that you can be. So um, just in every aspect, you really have to be honed in, whether it's film, whether it's treatment practice, like you really have to take every step seriously um, because it all adds up and it all makes a difference um, in the end. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, these questions are good, guys. Keep sending more. <laughs> um, okay, do you have any game day routines? Uh, my game day routine, I always like to take a shower before the game, and I like to pray sometime between the tip-off. Other than that, I'm not really, I don't really have that much more of a routine yet, yeah. at least. <laughs> um. I have a routine kind of, it's like, it's similar to yours, like I do, I like to take a shower and do my hair before each game, um, and then make sure that I eat a pretty good meal, like a couple hours before, and maybe a snack, like right before, and then depending on what time the game is, um, but I actually just developed this into my routine last year, was like drinking coffee before the game. And I'm not really a big coffee drinker, but I, <laughs> for some reason in the bubble, well, with some of those games in the bubble, like, I had to drink coffee because the game started at 10 o'clock. Like, <laughs> that's usually when I'm in bed. <laughs> that was awesome. So, yeah, so I just kind of developed that from last year, um, just drinking a little bit of coffee before the game. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that was a good one. Okay. Favorite artists currently or go-to songs on Apple Music? And I don't use Apple Music. I use Spotify. So, <laughs> yeah, Spotify is way better. I don't use that. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite artists? Well, I, one of my favorite bands is Tame Impala. They're the best. If you haven't listened to their music, I've you should go listen to it. <laughs> Oh, remember when it was when we were in Chicago? Remember when? Um, me oh, you guys were banging out in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a good song. <laughs> like, see, Ruthie approved. They're the best. Like, they're, if you have not listened to them, you should go do that right after this. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> do you have a favorite artist? Or any yeah, other I, listen, I like everything from country music to. Really? Yeah. I love country music, kind of. I think Oregon yeah. affected me with that. Like, oh, listening yeah. to this music during open gyms, and I was like, okay, I'm happy. What? I've never heard of that ever. I'll send you some songs. <laughs> okay, I, I got into country like a little bit in college, but like the bare minimum, like the really? bare minimum. I just loved it. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um oh someone said, What's your what's the hardest part about playing overseas? Um I think this year I was just um it's hard with the language barrier sometimes. Mm, I mean, well, yeah. some of the girls speak English, some of them don't. So 
sometimes in the game you can get confused with translations and stuff, but I think like yeah. the basketball, basketball part of it, um, it's been actually really fun. And yeah, because you've been killing it. Let them know. <laughs> Let them know. Oh my God. Missing my family, of course. I'm going to go home sit for yeah. the whole season yet, so that is a bummer. But it's been fun. Do you, got, do you have a translator? Uh, just one of the girls on my team. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that would be, like, crazy at times. Especially, like, during the game. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um. Um. Okay, this is a good one. Favorite movie and best basketball movie. I don't really like have a favorite movie. Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Cause why would I just say that? Wow. Okay, Black Panther is my favorite movie. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I forgot that. But yeah, but yes, like I honestly didn't have a favorite movie before then. And then when I saw Black Panther for the first time, I went on like opening night with some of my teammates, and like I was just like, I have to come back and watch this movie again, like. So I got a movie ticket the next week and went back by myself and like by I, yourself? I yeah. If you haven't done that, you should do it. Like going to the movies by yourself is amazing. Like I've never done that. You don't have to be on anyone else's time. You can pick wherever you want to sit. You, That's so true. you don't have to share your snacks with nobody else. <laughs> like it's all for you. Like <laughs> the movie is open back up so I can try that. Yeah, facts. Um but I love everything about that movie. Like, just, I just love everything about it. That's one but, movie? Uh, I don't really watch that. I don't really. Yeah. I mean, Love and Basketball is, like, good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. But I don't know. It's not, like, I don't know if it's the best. Like, no, yeah, it's not. I think when I was younger, I liked it more. I don't know if I was trying to be cool or something. But yeah. I I like, so Love and Basketball, because I feel like that was, like, the biggest hype. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite movie? Uh, movie? Not really. I I love watching June Girls in high school. With, like Jennifer <laughs> Hudson and Beyonce yes. and sing all the songs and all that. But other than that, no. Yeah. Nothing like jumps out at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are good guys. Keep questions coming in. We have like, well, I guess we're not on a time limit, but maybe we'll go for like thirty more minutes. Um. Okay, let's pick another one of these. Ooh, um, one thing that people would be surprised to know about you. Oh. I'm not surprised, but I love sweets. I love candy. I love desserts. I'm yes. always desserts. Um, yeah, I <laughs> think people know a lot about me. Sorry. What's your favorite dessert? Ever? I mean, I just like Sour Patch Kids. I like licorice. Oh, I like just yeah. candies. I love Sour Patch Kids. Okay. So good. <laughs> um, I mean, I used to play clarinet in high school and in middle school. In middle school, I was in symphonic band. And... <laughs> <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> yeah, I actually really enjoyed it a lot. Like, it was really fun. Um. And I, I mean, yeah. And then in high school, like, I almost did marching band, but then I was like, okay, wait, no, like, I'm not that committed. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> but I really actually did enjoy playing clarinet, and, like, I still know how to play it, but I don't play it now. But, okay. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> Khan, I see your comment, Khan, I love your bun cakes. Oh, yeah. No, that was, like, the first time I had them, and you brought them in the bubble, and I, yeah. Um, yeah my birthday's same. coming up, so if you want to send me some. Yeah, get on that, Ka. Hi, Ka. <laughs> Kai, do you have any questions for us? Martin Van B. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're going to be talking about this throughout the whole yeah, season. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look at more questions. Oh, this is a good one. Um, favorite go to snack? Snacking meal before a game. Oh, also, I really love snacks. Like, the team will tell you that. I'm, like, the biggest snacker ever. Like, I love snacks. Um, but before the game, like, usually banana um, or, like, a peanut butter sandwich. I made those a lot in the bubble. So good. Yeah. So cool. Kyle, someone already asked her that. Come on, Come on get, get to it. 
Um, do you have a favorite snack before the game or? Um, no, I mean like, but she's like you said in the bubble, like the peanut butter sandwiches at the table in the locker room are good. Yeah, and like that's... some kind of like bar sometimes, not like a specific bar, but any kind of just something small because I get so nervous before games. I like to eat a lot. So. You gotta do something to get those nerves out. <laughs> yes. I feel you. Okay. Do you love the rice and turkey? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we eat it a lot, so. <laughs> um, oh, this is going. Where would you like to go for a vacation? I'm gonna go to Greece because Shay Petty is on my team, and she talks about Greece a lot. So I really, really? want to go there. I've never been. So what did she like, say about it? She says it's beautiful and it's warm, and that's mm. two big things that I like. Anywhere warm for me. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I love like. I love the beach. It's my favorite place. So anywhere that has like a really nice beach, preferably clear water, white sand. Clear I'm water. good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, oh, this one's good. What was the best part about the bubble? I know we ragged on the bubble, but there was like good parts, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You didn't have any good parts of <laughs> I liked when we, when we got to make the, uh, like, when we had, like, the big, every team was down there, and there was, like, some different kinds of food. That part was good. Oh, good. yeah. We're late to all of it, because I see the schedule it every time we had a game. But yeah, we had they, were slacking game. On, they were slacking on that, though, for real. Like, yeah. I needed them to do that a few more times. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but those parts were good. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I really liked... I don't know. I really liked. Well, at first, I liked that we were in Florida because it was like hot and we could like go by the pool and stuff all the time. Um, but it was pretty cool seeing like. I did like how much time we did spend together as a team. I feel like during normal seasons, like you spend time together, but it's a little different because like everybody's kind of. I mean, you have your own place and stuff. It's not like you're living together. Yeah. Um, so I kind of like that, and I like being able to see like other people around the league that usually, like, I wouldn't be able to see you as much during a normal season. Um, so that was pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Ruthie, what is your favorite fish to eat? Fish to eat? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like salmon. Alaskan salmon, all kind of salmon. It's my go-to probably fish to eat. <laughs> um, okay, Shay. Okay, let's answer some of these. Um, who was your inspiration growing up, and who is it now? Wow, that's a good one. Um, I think I had, like, lots of different inspirations, like, a first family, like, my mom and dad, and then just, like, players like Candace Parker, or I would, like, research, and even I would, like, look up reports in school about different basketball players like that, and just the people who like I said before, like, look like me, and I just wanted to get to the level that they were at, because it looks so cool to me and inspiring. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, for me, growing up, um, one of my biggest inspirations is my grandmother. Um, just everything that she overcame um, growing up through her times, and just how, like, caring she was to, like, everyone around her. She always made everyone feel really special, um, and that's Something that I try to do or try to like emulate um, that I really learned from her is like just always bringing um, like positivity, love, and just making everyone feel like special that I'm around. Um, and now, I mean, yeah, like kind of like you said, just like family um, and different people. I mean, Candace is one of them too. Um, just like I said, all that she's been able to do for the game and stuff. Um, Okay, we can't answer Shay's question. If you could go back to your high, senior year in high school, what advice would you give yourself to prepare you for college? Senior year in high school, senior year in college. Um, I'd probably tell myself senior year in high school to just um, go for it, kind of. Like, mm-hmm. I think in my freshman year of college, you know, I was pretty shy, so I was... <laughs> a little shy and I just 
should have asked, I think I should have asked like more questions and just mm-hmm. kind of had a little more confidence in knowing that in the end, you know, everything's going to turn out all right and things going to turn out how I wanted yeah. it to end up. So just yeah. giving myself confidence in knowing that I belong in that level with all the other great basketball players. Yes. Um, I probably would have told myself just like enjoy, like take things seriously, but also like take moments to just enjoy like your progress and stuff that you've made. Um, because that's definitely something that I learned to do more in college. Was like, it's kind of like just being my biggest fan. Um, because like you know your coaches are your fans too, but they they have a job to like make you better and. And so sometimes, I don't know, I think I would just tell myself that, like, just celebrate yourself more um, and, like, be your biggest fan through your entire process <clears throat> and through all the stuff that you're doing. Um, okay, what is your favorite pizza topping? Pizza is my favorite food. Um, so pepperoni is my favorite, but at the moment, I'm not really eating meat, so... I guess, like, spinach. <laughs> but traditionally, pepperoni is my favorite topping. <laughs> yeah, basically the pepperoni. Spinach, yeah. I've never tried the spinach yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's like, if they season it right, so it's, it's pretty good. And it's healthy, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yours? Pepperoni, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Do you one. like the pepperoni, uh, pineapple on pizza ever, or do you think that's no? Like ew, no. <laughs> not a thing. Fruit is not supposed to be warm ever. Like no, no unless it's in a pie or a cake. That's it. But like, yeah, agree. No. And then <laughs> mix mixing it with red sauce, like no, it's no. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> Okay. Um. Uh, favorite okay well this is a pretty easy question favorite team to play in college I think play in in college UConn duh Huskies for life like what (laughs) (laughs) and in the WBA sky town always (laughs) okay um okay um These are repeat ones. <clears throat> oh, um, this is a good one. Anything that you're most proud of with the WNBA's activism <laughs> on important issues? I think everything like last year that we did in the bubble was really cool just to see um, things posted online and um, a lot of people all over the world just getting involved and even just educating themselves on like what's going on and how we feel. And I think it's nice to be in a league that backs you and just supports you. I think that's really important because I've heard stories about, you know, other times when things go wrong or some leagues don't support you as much as the WNBA did. So I think that was super important. I was super proud of that. In the WNBA yeah. Last year. yeah, that was really cool to see them um, come through for us in that type of way, especially yeah. just with like going to the bubble. Like I know a lot of people kind of were – I mean, just with everything going on, it was it was a big decision to make for us to even go to the bubble during, like, everything that was going on. Um, and I think even, like, when we had the game where we, like, sat out and, like, just – it was really powerful just all of us being able to be there together in solidarity and do that. Like, in a normal season, I don't think that would have been able to happen, just all of us collectively being there in that moment. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty dope to experience that. Um Okay. Oh, <laughs> what's your hype song before a game? Well, last year, we literally listened to the same hype songs like every game. I forget what that song is called by Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Like, Woo! Like, Dior? Best. I don't know think it's Dior. What's the other one? It's like, wait, wait, is that wait. Dior? I don't know. But I remember yeah. that song was so hype. I can yeah, we listened to that before every game. Like, Cheyenne <laughs> had that deck before every game. All season it was hype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't every matter what we were doing. Whenever that song would come on, we would just it instantly like... get hype. Yeah. <laughs> it was 10 p.m., oh, midnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that song was so 
song is like, I've known probably every word to that song. <laughs> Thanks, Cheyenne. <laughs> um, okay, so I asked, if you had a secret power, what would it be? I'm kind of like nosy sometimes. So I think I want to be invisible <laughs> and just like go see things like. <laughs> but then like, what if you saw something that you didn't want to see? Like, you would just be like. Mad. And then would you bring it up to the person or would you just say nothing? Like, these questions are important. Right. <laughs> or if I could, like, eat anything and just not feel it. Like, eat junk food all day and just Ooh. be, like, energized and, like, I had a sound and healthy all day. Yo, like, that's a good one. <laughs> My stomach never hurts. Really that use that 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 that. Or, like, dairy. If I could just eat dairy and be fine, like, Oh, my gosh. Perfect. <laughs> But then I'm like, I don't know, because like, <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't, I go back and forth on that one. Like, I mean, flying would be kind of cool, I feel like, because you could just be like, oh, no, no, not flying. Like, you, if I just thought, like, okay, I just want to be at the beach right now, and I just feel like, and oh, then so I was at the beach. Places? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> like, you could just boom, go, that's it. You don't have to worry about nothing. Like, you're there. You, have your time and you're like okay i want to go back here boom i'm back and no one yeah. knows the difference so that'd be perfect yeah mine would be perfect for sure <clears throat> okay okay let's see um let's see um oh this is a good this is one when joining a new team or job or environment um Sorry, I lost the question. Oh, what are the qualities you look for in finding good friends? Enjoying any team. What yeah, when you friends? when you join a new team or a job or a new environment, what are the qualities you look for in finding good friends? I think it's just someone who just has a good heart and is like a real person, you know, that doesn't care about all the extras in life, especially like nowadays, like mm -hmm. your status or anything, but just someone who's a real like down to earth loving person who's nice to people and like truly cares about your well being. Yeah, facts. That's important for sure. <laughs> um, I would say someone that's trustworthy. Um, and like you said, someone that's genuine. Like I, I feel like you can for the most part tell like when you first meet someone, like if they're genuine or if they're like trying to run a game. So like that's yeah. really important. <laughs> um, and someone that likes to have fun and a good time. Like, I do, I do not, like, I really just, I like being around people that have, like, good vibes, good energy, like, like to have fun, laugh, because I like to do that stuff, too. So goofy. Yes. Yeah, if I'm over here being goofy and no one else is, like, it's really going to kill the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Um, What's your favorite thing to do outside of basketball? <laughs> I like to eat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, oh, that's it. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. I don't know. Especially this last year, I feel like I didn't do much. That's exciting. Um, do you watch like good shows? Uh, have you heard "Between Your Eyes" or "Behind yes. Your Eyes"? Jay told me to watch it. I don't want to spoil you. Have, but... No. Wait, did you watch it? Yeah, I've seen it. Have you? Dude, yes. It was so... <laughs> I finished it last night. I was like, never expected that show in, like, one day. Like, I literally, like, I was just, like, looking on shows on Netflix. And I was like, oh, like, what? actually, I saw a TikTok about it. Someone did a yeah, TikTok. Yeah, people were, like, about tweeting about it and everything. And I was just like, let me just try it out. Like, I don't know. And, like, the first episode, I was like, okay, like, it's okay. And then, like, I was just, like more and more started getting into it and then at the end i was like bro, bro. crazy oh crazy <laughs> like if she would have just minded her business she would be good yes. right now <laughs> <laughs> like she really just had to force it like no no yeah and then i literally called gabby like right after i finished it i was like you have to watch this show like and then she watched it and she's like oh. i was like I crazy <laughs> crazy yeah that's so wild like wild um, oh, well, I like to, yeah, watch those, and, um, re 
many books. Um, now that I'm in Phoenix and it's really nice out here, I like to lay out. Like I love to just lay out in the sun and just soak up vitamin D. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Ooh. <laughs> I need to expose Wade's story. <laughs> Oh <laughs> There's so many, like I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I hope he's watching this. Too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um uh, <laughs> you know, I mean he's just like like a goofy like he's goofy. Yes. <laughs> like yes. just look at him sometimes I just like can't help but like <laughs> just And then it's like he's like I noticed this more about him. And like, cause we, this is only our second year being coached by him. Yeah. And so, but I've noticed how goofy he is. And like, we'll be talking about something and he'll be like, oh, like he'll be dead serious. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, like this. And I'm like, wait, really? And he's like, no, Z, I'm just kidding. And I'm like, stop. Like, I'm going to start joking back on him now and see how he yes. is. Cause he, he really be having me like, wait, what? Like, yeah, I'm just like, okay, I'm about to say it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's like direct enough, but it's kind of like you have to experience him. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Um, any non basketball activities or efforts you two are working on? Oh. Um, I don't know. Like, I think he's going to go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, me and my dad last year opened up a food truck. It's called Samo Demo Shrimp Fish and Grits. And, um, it's been going really well. If you're ever in North Carolina, like, check it out. Um, we sell shrimp and grits, obviously. Um, <laughs> and then we have salmon, salmon cakes, um, mac and cheese, fried fish. Like, it's it's so bomb. Like, it's so good. Um, but that's pretty much one of the biggest things I've been working on outside of playing. Um, it's just helping out, like, set up events for that and stuff. And I'm actually, like, we're in the works of figuring out, uh, like, taking a weekend to bring the truck up to Chicago so that everyone, uh, the team can get a little I'm so excited. And fans can come check it out. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is literally electrolyte powder. <laughs> Our special guest is getting a little beside himself. <laughs> okay, yeah, but um, yeah, so that's one thing. That's one big thing that I'm working on outside of. But like I was saying before, I almost came in here. Yeah, we're working out ways that we can uh, either like rent a truck in um, Chicago or like figure out how to do um, bring the truck up there so that um, the team can try the food and um, fans. If you guys want to come, like. Yeah, you guys can come and check it out. Um, it's really good. My dad's a chef, so the food is amazing. Lucky. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything like special that I'm working on right now, but I know I want to try to do something camp, Alaska, and Oregon, like these basketball camps. But I kind of want to focus more, like, of course, on basketball, but also like education and like that kind of aspect yeah. as well. Like, yeah. so it's bigger than basketball, kind of. Yeah. It's something I was thinking of. Yeah, I feel like more camps are getting in that direction, too, where it's, like, they work on basketball, but also, like, off-court stuff, like, at the yeah. same time, which I'll is really dope. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, what have, these are good ones. Um, Sky, the Sky Show Chai, Chai is, like, a, they are sending in really good questions. <laughs> Okay, what have you read about summertime, Sai, and what are you looking forward to or seeing or doing in Chicago? Literally everything. I just want to, like, walk around, of course, like, the bean and stuff. I want to try all the food. I know there's, like, museum. Sorry, we're not for a second. Um, what'd you say? Sorry. Um... <laughs> I'm excited to do anything from just eating the food to the, going to like museums and the aquariums and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully everything's open. 
Yes. I've heard only good things about summertime in Chicago, and I'm so excited to try it out. Um, obviously, like you said, the bean, but I really want to try the food. Like, I'm a really big foodie. I love food. So I'm down to try any and every restaurant that wants to have us to try yeah. their food. Like, I'm for that 100%. Um, okay. Um, let's do like a few more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Um, ooh, this is a good one. If you weren't a pro athlete, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, <laughs> well, my major is like PR and journalism, so hopefully I'd be writing in the magazine or doing yeah. some kind of like journalism aspect of it is what yeah. my goal is after basketball as well. Yeah. Um, I would probably just be like traveling, I think, like just going all around because I really like to travel a lot and try like new things and new experience new cultures and stuff like that. So I for sure would be traveling in some sort of way. <clears throat> and maybe doing being like these influencers out here just literally travel and like get paid to do yeah. that. I'm like, yeah, I would definitely be doing that. Like, oh my. <laughs> like it's cool. That's a whole profession now. Like <laughs> Yeah, I think the best one. Um oh this is a good one. Do you have any advice for young girls who are looking to play basketball in high school and beyond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, it went out for a second. Okay, um, my advice to the young girls um, would just be to keep working hard and don't get caught up in a lot of like the social media things and all that other rankings. Of course, the rankings are always a big thing. They're always out. It doesn't matter what your ranks really like. That's just, facts, you know, Rue. That's like, speak on that. That's facts. Rankings don't mean a lot. And I think people like, of course, everyone wants to go D1. But if you don't go D1, you know, D2, JUCO, they're all good school. You're still playing basketball. Like just got to humble yourself and just like play. Yes. Fun, I can't even add to that because that was like a perfect <laughs> answer like for real Thank you. that's so facts like these this social media stuff is like crazy nah. yeah <laughs> that was a perfect answer <laughs> like yes okay let's do one more question and then we'll be done um let's see um let's do a really good one for this final one Uh, or if you see any good ones coming in, then we'll pick one. Um, well, this one's good. Um, do you have a mantra or a motto that you live by? Um. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to, I guess, be, like, just something that you live by, you know, like, quotes or phrases, I don't know, just... Anything that you use for inspiration in your daily life is something that you try to stick to? Uh, it's not like basketball related, I guess. It kind of is, but like, can I just treat others how you be treated? It's like, mm -hmm. the is just like, no matter if you're, I guess it's kind of like, no matter what your status is, if you're like a good person, like people are going to notice that because sometimes it's rare to come by. So just be a good person, try to make someone smile every day kind of thing. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Um, mine's a little similar to that, but just like spreading love in any type of way, like kind of like you said, just trying to make, just putting like good into the world. There's so much like out there now that's so negative, or just yeah. like, trying to tear people apart. And like I, I just try to do the opposite of that um, as much as I can um, in whatever setting that I'm in with whoever that I'm around. Um, so yeah, okay. I think we have to stop now. Um, okay. But it was so good to see you. Like, I cannot wait until we're back in Chicago. <laughs> and thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this was really cool to do this. And next Friday, there'll be two more people on here um, jumping in. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And see you soon, Ruthie. <laughs> bye. Bye, Ola. <laughs> Ruthie said bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.